Today I am going to speak about the landscape of Sri Lanka. This is the second chapter of uh, geography, grade 9 geography. In this lesson, we will discuss about the physical landscape of Sri Lanka and human landscape of Sri Lanka. But in this video, I have discussed about only the coastal plain of Sri Lanka. Now, we will see what is the physical landscape of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island with a beautiful landscape located in the Indian Ocean. It is an island with a beautiful landscape. It is located in the Indian Ocean. The island consists of mountains, plains, rivers, waterfalls and various types of vegetation as well as buildings, roads, tanks, industries and croplands built by man on this physical environment. Now we will see what are the components of the physical landscape. There are four main components of the physical landscape, relief, drainage, climate and natural vegetation. When we are speaking about the relief, Sri Lanka can be divided into three zones on the basis of relief, coastal plain, intermediate plain and central mountain. Coastal plain is up to 300 meters from the sea level and intermediate plain is 300 meters to three, up to 30 meters from the sea level sorry coastal plain up to 30 meters from the sea level and intermediate plain 30 meters 300 meters from the sea level and central mountain over 300 meters. You have to remember 30 meters to 300 meters 30 up to 30 is coastal and 30 to 300 is intermediate and over 300 is central mountain. Now look at here I have given you a map look at the map and have an idea about the about the relief zones of Sri Lanka coastal plain intermediate plain and central plain. Now we will see what is the coastal plain. The region from sea level up to the 300 meter up to 30 meter control line along the coast belongs to the coastal plain. The region from sea level up to the up to the 30 meter control line along the coast belongs to the coastal plain. In south, you have to remember the coastal plain is not same in all the areas. In south, it is 3 km narrow in certain places and in north, it is 32 km wide. Now we will see what are the relief features of coastal plain. Mussels, bays, lagoons, islands, sea cliffs, deltas and points. They are, the, they are features of coastal plain. Masses, bays, lagoons, islands, sea cliffs, deltas and points. Now we will discuss about the masses. Masses are formed when the sediments brought by rivers are deposited as sand banks and blocking the estuaries of water remaining in low lands due to overflowing of rivers. They are formed when the sediments brought by rivers are deposited as sand banks and those when those sand banks are blocking the estuaries of water remaining in low lands due to overflowing of in overflowing of water rivers. Examples Muturajavela, Bundala, Kalanatiya, Somavatiya, Anavidundava and Kirala Kali. Muturajavala, Bundala, Kalanatiya, Somavatiya, Anavidundava and Kirala Kali. Bay. A bay has a wide opening of the sea floated in towards the land filled with saline water. It has a wide opening of the sea prospered into a, the land and it is filled with saline water. Example, Kodiyar Bay, Arugam Bay, Valigam Bay, 
Kodyar be, Arugama be, Arugam be, and Telegama be. Now, we will see what are the lagoons. A lagoon is a lengthy stretch of an area which is filled with brackish water separated from the sea by sandbars which have narrow outlets to the sea only during a certain period of the year. It is a lengthy stretch of an area which is filled with brackish water and separated from the sea by sandbars which have narrow outlets to the sea only during a certain period of the year. Example, Nigambu, Chapna, Puttalam, Chilau and Vatikalo. Now, a small land area completely covered with water are called islands. Sri Lanka also an island located in the Indian Ocean. Islands are those small land areas completely covered with water. Completely covered with water. Example, Mana Island, Kite and now, we will discuss what we mean by a point. Point is a land area with hard stones that go towards towards sea. Go towards towards sea. A land area with hard stones that go towards towards sea is called a point. Also known as woodland. Example, Dundra Head, Fall Point. Sangaman Kanda Point and Point Pedro. In previous lessons, we have learned that the length of the Sri Lanka is 432 kilometers from Point Pedro to Dunda Head, and the width of the Sri Lanka is 224 kilometers from Kalambu to Sangaman Kanda Point. Now you know what are the points. Sea cliff. A sea cliff is a land area composed of hard rock standing at an edge of the coast with a sea floor. This is a land area which is composed of hard rock and standing at an edge of the coast with a sea floor. Example: Trincomalee, Kirinde, and Roman Cellar. Now, Delta. Delta is a land area formed with the deposit of sediments carried by a river close to river mouth with the shape of a triangle. It is a land area which is formed with the deposit of sediments carried by a river close to river mouth with the shape of a triangle. Example, uh, Maha Delta can be seen close to the river mouth of Mahalali, Ni Oya and Kala. Oh, yeah. Now, I think you have learned something about the coastal plain of Sri Lanka. In next video, we will discuss about the intermediate plain of Sri Lanka and have a nice day.